Kim Ma Jung became a household name back in 2006 with a movie called 200 Pounds Beauty. She seemed to have a bright future, however, for the past few years, people have been questioning what happened to her. It got to the point that in 2018, reports of her passing came out. So here is what happened to Kim Ah Jung. Kim Ah Jung was born on October 16, 1982, in Seoul, South Korea. The name Ah Jung was given to her by her mother and is said to mean, become the center of Asia. As a child, she was in two minds about joining the hospitality or entertainment industry. She completed her schooling at Wikian Girls High School and went on to do a broadcasting degree at the Women's Dongduk University. Later, she attended the Korean University and finally ended up getting a degree in hotel management from an international institute in Switzerland. However, she never joined any hotel and decided to join the entertainment industry. She did an audition as an aspiring singer and was accepted, but due to circumstances at the agency, she ended up debuting as a model and actress. She made her acting debut in 2004 in the television serial Love Survival, where she played a cameo role for herself. She also got a minor role as Ha Jin in the television drama serial Emperor of the Sea the same year. Her movie debut came in 2005 with her role in When Romance Meets Destiny. She also got a big break on television with her award-winning performance in the family drama serial Bizarre Bunch on the KBS2 network around the same time. This boosted her career as an actress. In 2006, she did 200 Pounds Beauty, where she played the role of Kong Hanna, who is an overweight ghost singer. Being always humiliated by the people around her, she decided to get plastic surgery. The movie shows how differently people are treated based on their looks. The movie was a massive success, it earned her the Best Actress Award at the 2007 Grand Bell Awards. Kim finally debuted as a singer with two singles, Maria and Beautiful Girl, both released as the original soundtrack of the movie. Following the release of the film, Maria became a worldwide sensation for its high notes, while Beautiful Girl even won Cyworld's Digital Music Awards Song of the Month. After the movie, people wanted her to release her own album, however, it seems the agency was not allowing this. She said, there are many unknown singers who can't stand on stage because they don't even get the opportunity, so I can't do something like release an album without qualification just because I'm popular. After the movie, she decided to take a break and concentrate on her studies. She went on language training trips and actively engaged in academic activities, including publishing master's theses in academic journals, showing that her passion for learning is high. She mentioned in the interview that she is interested in studying women's studies. Kim returned to acting three years later, starring alongside Huang Youngmin in the romantic comedy The Accidental Couple. She was recognized with the Excellence Award at the KBS Drama Awards that year for her spectacular performance in the serial. In 2012, she was cast in the medical drama signed by Kim Moon hee playing a forensic scientist. Then 2011 came, and it wasn't a good year for her. She was investigated for tax evasion for failing to file a tax return. In relation to this, Kim Ah Jung stated that it was her fault for failing to properly check her income and tax payments and leaving them to a tax accountant. She apologized, saying that nothing like this would ever happen in the future. The National Tax Service imposed a fine of 600 million won. She and her management at the time parted ways due to the verdict. Due to this scandal, she was banned from TV work in South Korea from late 2011 to late 2014. This didn't stop her from acting. Even though she couldn't appear on TV, which includes dramas, she decided to focus on movies as she was not banned from cinemas. In December 2012, Kim co-starred with Ji Sung in the romantic comedy film My P.S. Partner. This movie was a great success. Critics also gave her the thumbs up for her witty demeanor on screen. This was followed by another romantic comedy film, Steal My Heart, in 2013. In 2014, her ban was over, so she was able to come back to TV. 
She returned to TV in the legal drama Punch, where she received positive reviews for her portrayal of a prosecutor. In 2016, she signed with a new agency, King Entertainment, and the same year, the crime thriller Wanted came out. In 2017, she starred in the time-slip romantic comedy Live Up To Your Name. Its final episode recorded a 6.907% nationwide audience according to the Nielsen Paid Platform, making the episode one of the highest rated in Korean cable television history. In 2018, Kim was cast in the crime thriller drama Bad Guys. Unfortunately, the drama didn't get much attention. However, that year, she got attention for all the wrong reasons. On July 27, 2018, it was reported that Kim Ah Jung had been involved in a car accident. Kim's agency, King Entertainment, confirmed the actress caused the crash by running a red light. It is true Kim Ah Jung was in a car accident. It is not a drunk driving incident. According to Seoul City's Gangnam Police Department, Kim Ah Jung crashed into a motorcyclist. She did not follow the signals and ended up hitting a motorcycle crossing the crossroads. The motorcyclist was hospitalized for medical treatment. Kim Ah Jung was under investigation. The police claimed the actress admitted to running the red light and was fully cooperative during the investigation. To all surprise, netizens didn't bully her but were angry about the motorcyclist. She shouldn't have run the light. The motorcyclist shouldn't have tried to cross the crossroads either. Crossing the crossroads? Aren't crossroads for pedestrians? That's a violation of traffic on the motorcyclist's part too. Motorcycles should be on the road, not at the crossroads. There are so many motorcycles on the sidewalks too. This accident probably shook her, however, she couldn't imagine what would happen next. One month after the accident, on August 14th, rumors of her death suddenly started floating around. In relation to this, there was also an incident where Wikipedia's dates of birth and death were updated and then rolled back. According to the rumors, the actress who debuted as a CF model and gained popularity through the film 200 Pounds of Beauty passed away on the 3rd. The rumors were even posted on some Korean online communities, which stated that she had passed away at the young age of 36. After hearing the news, Kim Ah Jung's agency responded and clarified that the rumors were false and that she was busy attending to her schedules. Kim Ah Jung's death rumors are not true. Kim Ah Jung has been reviewing scripts with her manager since last week in preparation for her upcoming film recording. She is busy attending to her schedule today. She was surprised to hear the news as well. The CEO of King Entertainment, Park Young Min, even shared a post on his SNS account confirming that the actress is healthy and warning people of the tabloids. People were encouraging to sue those who spread this rumor, however, the CEO decided not to. In 2019, she came back to the movie scene with The Bad Guys, Reign of Chaos, which is based on her previous drama, The Bad Guys. After this movie, she took a three-year break again and then came back in 2022 with a drama called Grid. In 2023, she didn't star in any dramas or movies, but she appeared on a variety show called Unexpected Business Season 3. In the show, the topic of marriage came up, and one of the cast members asked her what she thought about marriage. She answered, Oh, I think anybody who manages to find someone they want to marry is a lucky person. It's honestly not that easy to meet someone like that, you know? I wish to have that kind of luck in my life too. I really hope I will get lucky like them one day. If you get the feeling of wanting to marry someone, that means you trust them enough to spend the rest of your life with them. You also need love in addition to trust. Things like that just don't happen easily. As you can see, there is a pattern of her taking breaks, and in the past three years, she only did one drama, so it's no surprise why people are wondering what happened to her. There are a few theories as to why she is not really active. First, her tax scandal and car accident made it harder to get cast for dramas and movies. This could be, but it is unlikely, 
as there are many actors who got involved in the same scandal and are still popular and getting cast. Second one, maybe it's all her decision. Third, it could be that she is busy doing philanthropy. As I mentioned before, after 200 pounds beauty, she said that she is interested in learning about women's studies. It seems she is very passionate about it, as for many years she has been helping other women. She personally gave free watches to single mothers at a function organized by a jewelry brand in 2015. Her character as a feminist is revealed through periodic donations of goods and talents. In 2012, she became connected to Erinwan, a facility for single mothers, and spent Christmas volunteering. The following year, in February 2013, she visited with her fans and did volunteer work. In 2019, she directly participated by proposing a public service advertisement promoting the Sanitary Pad Voucher Support Project for Women and Youth conducted by the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family. As well, she was selected as an ambassador for many organizations for many years. So it could be that she is just too busy to take on more roles. It seems this year we will be able to see her in a new drama. Nothing has been confirmed, but she was in talks to star in the new drama War of Daikidong's Number Ones. Her new agency, Plum ANC, commented on this. It's one of the projects she is currently reviewing. Hopefully, this year is going to be successful for her. Thank you for watching and see you next time.